Hey Psych2Goers, welcome back to our channel. It's time for a new video. And with that, some new habits to integrate into your life. So you notice your day is filled with too many boring moments and too many unhealthy habits. And you've clicked on this Psych2Go video in search of some habits to add to your life and routine. Well, you've come to the right place. Not only will I give you some healthy habits, but I'll give you some smart ones too. Here are six habits smart people have. Number one read any chance you get who doesn't love reading well apparently a lot of people but it gets better after the first chapter i promise if you start to read a book that makes you feel calm and relaxed after reading some of said book your train of thought may become more calm and relaxed maybe you delve into a novel that is both thrilling and ambitious then, when you shut that book, you can't help but have a more ambitious and exciting outlook. Reading takes us somewhere new and puts us into someone else's shoes. It's not only a good habit to develop because it can help relax you when the real world gets a bit tough, but you may also learn a thing or two. You may just become a bit more intelligent with each chapter. Number two, know what time you are most productive and get working then. Are you a night owl or a morning person? If you flinched at the word morning and relate more to a vampire than a rooster, then you should likely schedule some of your work for the evening. Not midnight, but evening. Why? Well, as much as a night owl as you may be, it's best to stick to a regular sleep schedule where you're mostly sleeping when it's dark out. If you're a morning person, schedule your work or active hobbies bright and early. And if you need a few hours to wake up, but get drowsy by the time the sun is down, the afternoon might be your best bet. While it can be a good idea to change your schedule so you can get your work done earlier, if you know you're simply not a morning person, it's best to schedule your day around that known part of yourself. Ease into your mornings, as long as you're productive later. Three, make a schedule and stick to it. Now that you know when you're most productive, get scheduling. Work or go out during the afternoon if that works for you but make sure you write it down. Whether that's in a daily planner, your phone, or a piece of paper posted on a wall, hold yourself accountable by making a promise, likely with a good old pen and paper. Number four, put away any distractions. Do you find yourself distracted often? How often? It's time to put away those distractions. Now that you have your productive time slotted, you need to make sure it's actually productive by putting away your phone. Let's be real here. It's the phone distracting you, isn't it? By shutting off your phone or hiding any distractions, especially in a different room, you can get more work done faster. Five, try something new and go outside your comfort zone. Smart people don't simply stay in their comfort zone for the rest of their lives. They try new things. They let their curiosity lead them to new hobbies, activities, opportunities, or places. Don't doubt yourself if a new and exciting opportunity arises, even if it's something new. Go for it. Try that new hobby you've been putting off. Learn that new skill. Life is too short to put your passions, desires, and curiosities on a waiting list. Every day, challenge yourself to something new, big or small. Make it a habit to not be afraid to make a new habit. Start with this one, perhaps? And number six, value being productive over being busy smart people are productive people so if you find yourself scheduling time to get work done only to work at the bare minimum during that time it's time to try something new if you're not getting your own work done at a good pace then maybe there is a better way to approach this new project or study for this new test value being productive over being busy you can live your whole life being busy and find minimum change years down the line but if you choose to be productive and work at your best self as your best self, then your life can be somewhere entirely different in a few years. Go for your goals. Work hard at what you do, or rather find what method works for you. And you may not have to work as hard as you thought. Things get easy when you know who you are and what's best for you. So who are you? And how will these habits change you? Let us know in the comments down below. We hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to click the like button and share it with a friend or someone who could use it. Subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell icon for more content like this.
And as always, thanks for watching.